Look behind me. I got a fire truck right behind me in the parking lot where I'm at. And I looked at the number and it says it's Smith Fire Department. And uh, the number is 35. And I always go like 3 plus 5 is equals 8. <clears throat> but anyhow, I know there's a great emergency coming soon. Okay, when this stuff happens around me, I mean, I'm, I'm not at all surprised. But for the odds for this thing to pull up, like, right behind me, I thought, at first I thought it was, you know, the police car, somebody going to say that I was loitering or something. But uh, I think somebody, you know, something happened to somebody in the parking lot out here. Um, you know, it's sad to see it, you know, but there's... All kinds of stuff happening here today. You know, you don't know what you're dealing with anymore. Drugs, alcohol, you know, there's just so much stuff going on. It's beyond, beyond the imagination, you know. I see it all the time. But anyhow, um, yeah, it surprised me to see them pull up right behind me. You know, I don't know if you could see it. 35 fire department you know pilot truck stop that'd be me 3-5 listen I want to get another little message out you know um, the scoffers and mockers I guess they're causing a lot of uh, problems on other people's channels where they're getting caught up in it, you know, on what people are saying about other people, avoid it. Don't get caught up in that stuff. You're wasting your time. That's what they do. They try to find something to say, something against somebody. Um, even with me, there's people saying, you know, all kinds of weird stuff about me. Um, don't even bother with them. Just know that it's written in the Word of God, that scoffers and mockers, that's what they're going to do. So don't get caught up in it, man. This is not the time. Yeah, a lot of people are going to be deceived by this. And uh, you should know the Word of God, what it says. It says to comfort one another. Okay? And I've always told you, stay away from what's going on in this world right now. Because what's coming is a great earthquake. That's what we need to be focused on and comforting one another. And then the scoffers and mockers, man, don't even. I wouldn't even read their comments, to tell you the truth. I don't, and I they're popping up all the time, and I got to delete them where I don't see their comments anymore. But I got so many of them now on there that other people are saying, wow, man, look at what they're saying. You need to stop looking at what they're saying and keep your eyes focused on Jesus and know that it says that that's what they're going to do, you know. Just know they're fulfilling the Word of God. That's a good sign, you know. The more that they do it, the closer you know we are. Where it says in the Word of God that nobody knows that day or hour. Well, listen, it says in the Bible, you got to know what to watch for, okay? These birth pains we're seeing, these earthquakes and stuff. Well, that's going to tell us the time when we're at it, okay? When this, when this gets leveled from the great earthquake, which I'm expecting any time. When this happens, that's when it says to go out in the streets, bid them to come to the wedding, and we go. Pew, simple as that, okay? That's our time, okay? You're not. If anybody sets a date, I wouldn't listen to it. I'm waiting for that great earthquake. That's what I'm waiting for. And that's the reason why you see this angel blowing a trumpet on my above my head. Because I'm telling you the truth, okay? I'm telling you what to be looking for. If you want to know the sign when we're getting ready to go, it's in uh, Matthew 22, the wedding. And the wedding is furnished. That's when we go. Okay, there's got to be a great earthquake. We're having 40 to 70 of them a day right here in America alone. It's going to happen any time. I think it's going to happen closer when people are Christmas shopping and stuff. Okay, don't be deceived. Don't be getting into these bickering comments either. Look, at I got me a, a little lantern, man. It takes four, uh, four AA batteries. <laughs> but don't please don't get caught up in all these bickerings man all they to keep your eyes focused on Jesus Christ okay and know by the blood of Christ you're saved okay 
and know that these scoffers and mockers, man, if they're not comforting you, if they're not going with the with us, then why are you listening to them? You know, um, those of us that know the truth, the Holy Spirit's going to tell you not to do that, and uh, the devil's going to try to deceive you, man. Don't. I'm just telling you, please don't let it happen. God bless you, and I hope you got something out of this message, okay? And we're not here to get into debates about this stuff. We're here to.